43% of his free throws. He was sixth in the entire country. At one point, he made a school record tying 41 in a row. There's Neitzel on the end line, right in front of Donnie Gray. And they had lifted everybody, and he was going to kick this back. And easy call for the official as well. You got to know where you are on the floor. First free throw attempts of the game upcoming for Derek Rivio. And Mark Few has moved all of his players out of the lane. And even if he makes both of them, it's still a one possession game. Sure is. You'd have to bet on him making both. Both teams still perfect from the line in this half. A combined 28 for 28. The Zags are 13 of 13. Ager back in. And Sean, the big thing now is speed dribble, go as hard as you can to the goal, and then the kick back for the three. It raises if he the makes question it, if you're the defense, do you foul? Boy, you got to wait till it gets to the front court if you do. And they haven't had a timeout to talk about it, so I wouldn't expect them to foul. Ager, three and a half seconds to go. He rises. Oh! He scores! Oh! Ager the with the bomb at the buzzer, and we're heading for overtime. Ager's. How about that finish? Officials are over reviewing this play. And there's no question that was a three. It was way beyond the arc. I wonder if they're wondering about time remaining on the clock. That's what they're doing. Yeah, a couple of tenths maybe. What a great shot. And yeah. your point about fouling, Sean, is exactly right. If they could have fouled would they right have about get, yeah. here, maybe four or three, but you know, it's an awfully difficult proposition. And especially since Gonzaga did not have any timeouts left, they couldn't talk about it in a timeout to get everybody on the same page. It's also got to be your philosophy totally. I mean, a lot of guys feel getting foul, they might make the first three throw, miss the second, get an offensive rebound. And it's got to be within your system and discussed. And what a big time delivery. I'll, I'll tell you what, do you think Tom Izzo is glad that he put Maurice Ager back in with 13 minutes That's to go smart. and four fouls? I mean, I mean, you know, it was a gamble. But it paid off big because Maurice Ager, nobody's hit bigger shots in this game than he's hit. Well, I think Sean alluded to it. You know, you've got to trust your players to use good judgment down the stretch to stay on the floor. Well, Tom Izzo talks about how talented Maurice Ager is, says he might be as talented as anybody they've had at that position. And he's made a believer out of me tonight to back up that statement. Each team will get a timeout in overtime. Well, can you remember a game where guys right in a row have stepped up and oh. hit big shot after big shot after big shot? Unabashed. Absolutely oh. not. What a game. Mm. Back and forth. Ties and lead changes and right off the tip, Morrison commits a foul as he knocked down Paul Davis. And that's just the first foul of the ball game against Adam Morrison, the junior from Spokane. And the free throw shooting continues to be flawless on each side. 20 points for the game for Davis, eight for eight from the line. They didn't miss a free throw in the second half, the Spartans, and they're 19 of 21 for the game. Gonzaga's 15 out of 16 for the game. Yeah. Well, it's not only the shooting, it's the play after play. They've come up with the, the right call to the right guy. In clutch situations, and you know, Sean asked the question before, which team is gonna blink? Nobody's blinking, and we can't take our eyes off the action. Higher goal with Rivio, Malin, Batista, and Morrison. The five some to open overtime for the Zags, and a hold against Namick. As he had a piece of Batista and Drew Namick is fouled out. The junior from Muskegon, Michigan. 
All-time block shot leader in the history of Michigan High School basketball. He blocked 527 shots for North Muskegon High School. That's one of those records that may never be broken. And Baptista, one of those guys that initiates contact as well and really puts pressure on the officials as well as the opponent. So here's Batista to shoot two. Here's six out of six from the line. This has been a clinic. It sure has. I mean, flawless play, big play after play. Batista from Brazil. Spent a year at Western Nebraska Community College, then transferred to Barton County Community College in Kansas. Went on to Gonzaga last year, and Mark Hughes said he was amazing. He was a surprise of the year, the newcomer of the year in the West Coast Conference, and a big reason why Gonzaga won that conference yet again. They've won five straight West Coast Conference regular season titles. Six of the last seven conference tournament championships. He'll play anybody, and he has, and done it successfully. Two three zags. Two three zone again for Gonzaga. They've been able to get into cracks and get the looks. Sutan has given them some nice minutes. Neitzel for Davis. Sutan, Ager, and Brown. The rest of the fives from Michigan State, and it's Shannon Brown. Looks like he got hit. Jay mentioned clinic. How about the ball reversible of Davis? And then you step in and knock it down. First point since the first half for Shannon Brown. Plagued in the second half by cramping difficulties. A three-point lead for the Spartans. Morrison, the answer. Oh, oh. He didn't have any space at all for the release. Well, these teams needed a game or two to get warmed up this season, but this has been the kind of matchup you'd expect to see in a regional final or even in the final four, and the caliber of play has been up to that level as well. Scintillating. 33 for Morrison. Brown for three. I went Ager over Morrison, but he couldn't control it. Here's a chance for the Zags for the lead in overtime. He's much better at Morrison working off the ball where he can rub his man off screens and step into it. And he knows he can elevate over the defender because of the size differential. Like here. Morrison over Shannon Brown and long rebound and Neitzel. Ager oh, to Davis! What a pass! What a run by the big guy! Good look! The athleticism by Davis to run the floor, catch it, and finish at 6-11. As a 10-year-old, he was the Michigan State champion in the NFL. Punt, pass, and kick competition. He's a very good athlete, a low 80s golfer. And he's really blossoming as a basketball player, too. Right here, wow. the Spartan followers thought he walked. The officials did not concur. 22 for Derek. Ager bumped on a little brush by Pendergraft, who picks up his fourth. But his foul per minute pace has slowed dramatically after he had three fouls in the first three minutes. Boy, what a great job by Davis of running for him. That pass was absolutely spectacular. Off the dribble, too, which is tough. A lot of guys can't make that play. I think Judd's, he doesn't care who wins. He just wants to keep it going. I mean, if you love basketball, this, this is a dream. And for Judd, it's hard to cheer for one team or the other, but he knows he's taught a lot to both coaches. And he must be so proud to see the quality of the coaching we've seen and how much he has generously offered his counsel to these two men over the years. Is he taking notes there, Sean? I thought he was looking down to write something. Knowing Judd, though, he may not remember the first part of the game. It's so long ago. <laughs> Ager makes the free throws. Michigan State by two. 2.20 to go in overtime. Davis fouled Batista. 
Batista just stayed so wide that Davis couldn't really break contact to get around in front and discourage that pass. You're going to have to do it with ball pressure as well. Keep that ball out of there. Gonzaga's made its last 16 free throws. Michigan State's made its last 19. They've made 35 in a row combined. And the pressure falls on Batista. Try to make two and tie the game again. Is there a magnet? No, it's just in these amazing. Hopes? Uh, the improvement of team. Now, the Zags played great, I thought, yesterday, but Michigan State just keep stepping up. You know, these teams have waited all day to play. Connecticut and Arizona, they're anxious to go, but they have to appreciate what they are watching here. Tied at 89. 2 10 remaining in overtime. Eager for 